Y'all it looks like the messy divorce between Jeezy and Jenny Mai is taking another dramatic turn y'all today, we're diving deep into the messy divorce between rapper Jeezy and Jenny Mai if you've been following the saga, then you already know it's been a total roller coaster. just when you thought that things were all figured out, something else crazy happens. But hold on to your seats, because the latest development is that Jeezy is now fighting for primary custody of their daughter, and he's really coming for Jeannie accusing her of being a deadbeat mom have you ever heard such a thing this is getting ugly also let's break it all down, let's rewind a little bit, and talk about how these two even ended up together in the first place. As it turns out this wasn't Jeannie's first marriage, her first husband was a guy named Freddie Hardy, and they were together for 11 whole years before getting divorced according to Jay the reason their marriage ended was that she didn't want kids, but Freddie did Jay even hinted that Freddie might have cheated on her, though she didn't come right out and say it. But Freddie did end up getting another woman pregnant just a few weeks after he and Jay split, though that kind of confirms the infidelity rumors. But after that experience, Jay swore she would never get married again, she was done with the whole marriage thing. I swear, any woman who has been divorced, in that year, you know, you have red flags if it's not going to- But then along came Jeezy, and he must have had some serious Jedi mind tricks up his sleeve, in fact Jay did a complete 1-180 on a lot of her personal beliefs and convictions. Just to be with Jeezy, she went from swearing off marriage to not only getting hitched again but also agreeing to have a child, something she had firmly rejected before. And this led some fans to speculate that maybe Jeezy had some kind of manipulation over her pressuring her to change her life plans to fit his own as Jay put it, we're grown grown, we're in our 40s. And what I think is that God somehow managed our timing so that we spent time after our long-term relationships. We both came from 10-year relationships, and we really worked on ourselves to really understand what healthy love is like. We're in our 40s, and what yeah. I think is that God that somehow know. managed our timing so that we spent time after our long-term relationships. Yeah. We both came from 10-year relationships, and we really worked on ourselves to really understand what healthy love is like. Jeezy and Jay met for the first time, just a couple of days before they went on their first date, and Jeannie described it as love at first sight, I walk in, I sit down, and four hours later we shut down the sushi restaurant, she recalled, we had the most amazing d talk about our greatest lessons in life, our greatest mistakes, it was super vulnerable. So I walk in, I sit down, and four hours later we shut down the sushi restaurant, we had the most amazing deep talk about our greatest lessons in life, our greatest mistakes, it was super vulnerable. But of course, sparks can sometimes lead to fire, now fast forward a few years into this romantic meetup, Cheesy and Jenny shocked everybody when they suddenly file for divorce after just a couple of years of marriage. At first, it seemed like Che was the poo of victim here, and Jeezy straight up blindsided her with divorce papers out of nowhere, and she was absolutely devastated. The fans rallied around Jay, feeling bad that she was getting dumped without any warning. But then the story took a wild turn, because rumors started swirling that maybe Jeezy had his own reasons for wanting out of his marriage. You see, there are whispers that he might have suspected Jeannie was getting a little too close with her co-host Mario Lopez and Jeezy wanted to serve up some good old-fashioned revenge. You know on The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God, he claims that he always knew they weren't going to work. He said, you know it was just always instances where I just knew that this wasn't going to work out for me, right? So I had to figure out how to change without losing everything. You know it was just always instances where I just knew that this wasn't going to work out for me, right? So I had to figure out how to change without losing that well. There were claims that the real issue was that Jeezy and Jenny had totally different views on family and values and expectations, and they just weren't on the same page about a lot of things, however Jeannie herself insisted she was heartbroken over the divorce and wanted to make things work. While Jeezy seemed to have already checked out emotionally, well now Cheesy is finally speaking up, giving us his side of the story, and let me tell y'all it's a doozy, according to some legal documents that are new and obtained by Page Six. JC is fighting for primary custody of the couple's two-year-old daughter Monaco as Page Six reports, according to the court vow by Jeezy lack of consistency, continuity, and stability inherently associated with such a haphazard and fluid parenting time schedule is becoming stressful for Monaco. Jeezy is straight up accusing Jay of not even properly taking care of their child. He claims Jay has left the majority of the parenting duties to her own brother and mother instead of handling it herself. Jazzy argues that Monaco would be better off living with him full-time because he can provide the stability and attention she needs in the court documents. Jeezy says I initially agreed to move to the basement of our family home after we separated, but then Jay ended up moving out completely. 
and taking Monaco with her, her extensive travel schedule just isn't good for our daughter, and I've been denied regular visitation with Monaco for nearly two months now, while Jeezy is really going for the juggling here, though right he's straight up saying Jay is a deadbeat mom who isn't even caring for her child, legitimately that's a pretty bold accusation, especially considering Jay has previously suggested Jeezy may have been unfaithful during their marriage, in her own legal filings, Jay even hinted that she could potentially amend her counterclaim to include grounds for divorce based on infidelity, she referenced the prenup clause that would penalize Jeezy financially if he had an emotional or sexual relationship with someone else, so Jeezy is really swinging back hard with these custody claims. But that's not all, she even added that Jeezy had made their home unsafe for their child, Monaco in the court, documents obtained by Page December 6, 2023, clearly states it is essential to clarify that Ms. Jenkins' insistence on reasonable safety measures being put in place, such as safely securing and locking away all firearms that have been unsecure in the past, as well as having familiarity and properly trained care caregivers, is absolutely not gatekeeping, but rather a responsible effort to prioritize their daughter's well-being while it's definitely getting messy, and that's going to tarnish the rapper's reputation. Previously, she claimed that she had actually accommodated all of G's visitation requests with Monaco, including over the holidays. And Jay said that she was the one who was devastated when the marriage was ending, and she really wanted to keep their family together. So with Jeezy now seeking primary custody, you know Jeannie's going to have to fight hard to maintain an active role in their daughter's life. The whole thing is just so messy and complicated, especially when you consider the history and baggage these two are bringing into the divorce. And then of course there are those persistent rumors that Jeannie might have been unfaithful with her co-host Mario Lopez. These two have always had this undeniable chemistry on screen, which obviously fueled all kinds of gossip that their relationship went beyond just work friends. If you know what I mean, first the good job guys, hey proud Vietnamese girl, we're both first generation, I'm going to have her hook me up with some of Vietnamese. In fact, there was even this super weird video going around of Jeannie fetishizing black men, which just added even more fuel to the fire jack seems to be suggesting that his decision to file for divorce was directly linked to him uncovering some evidence of this alleged affair. He reportedly found some flirty inappropriate text messages between Jay and Mario, and that was the final straw that made him pull the trigger on ending the marriage. Y'all it looks like the messy divorce between Jeezy and Ginny Mai is taking another dramatic turn y'all today. We're diving deep into the messy divorce between rapper Jeezy and Ginny Mai. If you've been following the saga, then you already know it's been a total roller coaster. Just when you thought that things were all figured out, something else crazy happens. But hold on to your seats, because the latest development is that Jeezy is now fighting for primary custody of their daughter, and he's really coming for Jeannie, accusing her of being a deadbeat mom. Have you ever heard such a thing? This is getting ugly. Also, let's break it all down. Let's rewind a little bit and talk about how these two even ended up together in the first place. As it turns out, this wasn't Jeannie's first marriage. Her first husband was a guy named Freddie Hardy, and they were together for 11 whole years before getting divorced. According to Jay, the reason their marriage ended was that she didn't want kids. But Freddie did. Jay even hinted that Freddie might have cheated on her, though she didn't come right out and say it. But Freddie did end up getting another woman pregnant just a few weeks after he and Jay split. Oh, that kind of confirms the infidelity rumors. But after that experience, Jay swore she would never get married again, she was done with the whole marriage thing. 